Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is Real Living. Today we're talking about 1 Corinthians 13, where it talks about the love chapter. Today we're talking about that love is not easily angered. We live in a world that is literally ruled by angry people. We all know someone. There's maybe someone in our family, someone who's closely associated to us. They, they seem to make everyone around them uncomfortable. We have members of our family that, you know, say to us, Oh no, you shouldn't get Uncle Frank mad. You shouldn't get Uncle Auntie Marge angry. And those people rule those around them with their anger. We don't want to see that display of emotions because, you know, we are Canadians, and as Canadians we are we are we are shy and reserved people. We are nice. The reality is that many in our society are ruled by anger. Or we rule others with anger. You know what true love is? True love is not easily angered. In fact, in one of my earlier uh, dissertations, I talked about how to get over this whole aspect of anger. It's all about communication. It means that you hear, and you make sure that you hear first of all. And before you speak, you actually engage your brain. And then you only talk when that anger has been brought down. Many times um, when it comes to anger, we need to just take a moment and say, Lord, why am I angry? Why has this thing made me the way it is? And we examine it. And then we look at it in the light of, is this thing really such a big thing? I, I've been hurt. I've been offended. But Lord, in this moment, I'm going to release it to you. And when we do that, the love of God pours into our lives. And all of a sudden, that mountain that seemed to be such a, a big thing in our lives, becomes nothing but a, a molehill. And all of a sudden, we let the love of God flow through us, and we're no longer angry. And we don't speak in anger, because first of all, we've heard. Second of all, we put a, 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 a stoppage on ourselves, and then we speak out of love. You know, God loves us, and God doesn't look at us in angry ways. There are many people who believe that God is this angry deity that's up in heaven just waiting to slap you on the side of the head when you make a mistake. It's the farthest thing from the truth. God loves us. And so, when Paul says love is not easily angered, he understood that the love of God looks at us in a favorable way. You need to look at others in the same manner. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is Real Living, and you have yourself a great day.